the biggest challenge seems to be getting the politics to address the, the situation, address the problem properly. Instead of turning it into a political football, it should be addressed as a survival issue that is nonpartisan and must be solved. I think it's going to take strong political leadership and will in the future to sustain missile defenses. Ultimately, to be successful, we're going to have to come to grips with the policy issues associated with the deployment of systems capable of making intercepts uh, in space. And that's an issue we're going to have to spend time and effort uh, working on. It doesn't have to be decided today, it doesn't have to be decided tomorrow, but we are going to have to come to grips with it over time. Well, the greatest challenge is facing missile defense right now is simply that members of Congress and the general public are not aware of the critical nature and the advances that have occurred here. Uh, anyone that is even remotely familiar with the progress that missile defense has had understands that it's very technologically possible. Now what we have to do is to make people understand how effective it can be and how significant the threat is that it needs to meet. In the past, the uh, missile defense program has, has uh, suffered from uh, political challenges, getting the political support necessary to move forward, as well as the technical challenges of making the system work. Today, we've surmounted both those challenges. The challenge for the future is to uh, maintain our focus on what's important, and that is actually fielding missile defense capabilities to protect the United States and its allies.